Okay, so what is once again up everybody on YouTube? This is Two Rose a Gaming HD coming straight at you with yet again another video. So uh, kind of like what we're doing right here is that we're going to go ahead and take a look at the upcoming update for Farm Simulator 2019. I gotta say the uh, PC already had some updates and also kind of like a few of them and also had some, uh, what can you say, like uh, beta sections like the ones that I actually showcased to you earlier on. Uh, Jesus, what was that? Disgusting. So yeah, as I want to say that something of, of some of those that I actually showed to you guys early on, but right here we do have a list on the Family Simulator 19 update 1.1.3. Uh, this is not the exact one that's going to come out for the P PS4 and the Xbox One. This is actually the one that is out for, what can you say, like PC users and PC platforms. So that is what we do have at the moment for PC platforms. So this is the Farmers Web 19 update 1.1 and it has a lot of fixed areas in this update right here, which is actually pretty good. I do think it is a good thing every time we do have like updates and stuff like that in the game. And I surely hope that you guys think the same as I do right here because uh, it is actually changing the game as we know it when we get new updates and different kind of things on that. So that is at least I think something that is going to change the game when we get these new updates. I surely hope that you guys have the same. So if you're kind of feeling me on this and actually think I'm talking about something that you guys would actually uh, enjoy and stuff like that you should probably go ahead and hit the thumbs up on the video right here let's go ahead and see if we can get 100 likes on this right here for the update for PS4 and Xbox One I think that would be pretty freaking awesome if you got that update really soon because it is as I say gonna change the game and it is gonna be cool also so so that's pretty cool indeed that's what I think right here. So hit the thumbs up right here and also make sure to subscribe to this uh, channel right here on Tubers Gaming HD if you haven't done that yet. Would be pretty cool too. So let's get into this right here and let's go ahead and see what it actually have fixed right here. And there is a lot of things as you can see right here. So let's just go through the list. Fixed cultivating and sewing contracts disappearing after accept accepting them. Fixed a rare blogger when creating a farm in multiplayer. Fixed block when entering wheels after changing the inputs. Fixed sound with 7.1 headsets. Fixed saving mouse sensitivity. Fixed in word Y option for wheel cameras. Fixed issue with Logitech force feedback wheels. That's like the, the wheel that you have to put on your desk and you can actually control a tractor like it is a real tractor with, with, with a steering wheel and stuff like that. The centering force can now be configured in the Logitech Profiler G25 and G27 and the Logitech Gaming Software G29, G920, 1.1, that's the patch. Uh, actually fixed input conflicts with changing devices. There is no default mapping for unknown devices to avoid issue with constant menu and camera changes. Fixed some crash it with input devices. That's probably one of the issues that kind of crashes the games all the time. Fixed saving of sensitivity slash dead zone of input devices. That's pretty good. Fixed default bindings for wheels and wheels in combination with Logitech G Satic Farm side panel. That is the side panel that you guys probably know if you want to have that with the joystick and stuff like that. Pretty cool. You can also get that for PS4, I guess. I'm not sure, but I guess so. Then we have added support for Logitech G20, G25 and G920 gear shifter. There's a gear shifter also in it. Added support for Logitech G25. Added support for Trustmasters TGT and TSXV. Fixed camera orientation with head tracking, etc. Track IR. Various wiggle and tool fixes. Tweak some crops. Rebalance animals and husbandries. Fixed various dark issues. Fixed horse functionality. Fixed rain collision. 
fixed sound playback in various gameplay scenarios, improved the helper AI, fixed player movement issues, fixed flashlights in multiplayer, fixed particle effects, fixed BGA functionality, polished both polished both the base game maps, fixed fill volumes, pedestrian system fixes, fixed milk statistic, weather system tweaks, fixed night to day transitions, various locker fixes, added resolution scaling option Windows slash Mac, improved default mapping of various game pads slash steering wheels Windows slash Mac, and support for attaching steering wheels while the game is running, other, mirror tr- other minor tweaks and fixes, improved performance and lower end systems, fixed performance warnings, fixed translation inconsistencies for all languages, adjusts the UI in certain screens, improved multiplayer management controls, updated store missing items, fixed various sync issues in multiplayer, fixed player permissions after merging the game, fixed horse cleaning, multiplayer, fixed fork lift in multiplayer, fixed input context and pause display of the sync occurs during pause, fixed husbandry issues in multiplayer, fixed sounds in multiplayer, fixed client side player issues in uh, multiplayer 2. So that was the list of all the fixes and changes that this new update brings to us. And I gotta say it's pretty exciting with all these new changes right here. It's definitely going to change the game to get it updated and actually get it out there as we know it. Because it has been like a little bit bad as you guys also know. A little bit bad with the the things or the things that we do have in the game right now because of the issues that we do have and have, you can basically not build anything and stuff like that and boom 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 I'm like I'm like oh that's bad and oh that sucks oh what do we have to do now what can we do with this and so on so all of these new things right here seems to change the game obviously a little bit and uh, that is for me kind of a huge deal if I have to say it. It is actually a huge deal that they're actually coming out with that new update right here. I gotta say it's almost a month since we, in 10 days it's a month since we got the game. So it's it, it, it's just, um, we just need it right here and we just need it right now. <laughs> we actually need it right now actually. So. I surely hope that Giants is going to release this right here, but I think it's going to be tested. It has to be tested before we can actually get it out there on the market. And that is um, that is kind of like how we want it to be. And uh, it needs to be kind of tested before it can actually go out there on the, on the real market also. So uh, we're just going to wait for that actually. And that's also why they actually put out the beta version, as I said earlier on, uh, and, and also have tried early on the, the beta version it's it's pretty cool i gotta say like for real it is really really cool and uh that is by far something that i think is gonna be game changing when they actually put a beta versions out of the, the update and actually get guys to or people to actually um, to actually try it out before it, it it comes online for everybody and uh that is kind of how we how we actually uh, want it to be, I gotta say, and uh, that is also a good idea. So I checked it out right here and also kind of showed you guys the new uh, brush tool that we're gonna get. It, it, it is really, it's really cool, the brush tool, because you're gonna use it and you can actually use it as you want to. You can make roads, you can change everything, and you can delete uh, bushes and stuff like that. That's just sick. That is really something that I'm gonna kind of use a lot because you can just delete things as you want to. So yeah, I think that's basically gonna be it for this video right here. So I just wanna say once again, thanks for coming through. If you think it's good with updates for the game all the time, you should probably go ahead and hit the thumbs up for this video if you haven't done that in the beginning of it. And also click the subscribe button down under this video to be subscribed to Tubers Gaming HD. We're gonna bring you guys 
more content in the future and uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool. So uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it and I just want to say thanks for watching and thanks for coming through once again because it is really cool to have you guys kind of watching me and stuff like that. So we're only on our way to 24,000 subscribers and uh, it's going to be a huge deal when we're going to kind of going to reach them. So just go ahead and, and hit the subscribe button under this video if you haven't done that and also hit the, hit the thumbs up of course. We're going to see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming through. Bye guys. Bye.